Monday, and it's time to talk technology with our tech expert, Luis Alvarez of the Alvarez Technology Group. Good morning, Luis. Good morning, Mark. So we have an interesting story here from Krebs on Security. The FBI and the CISA are warning us about a vishing threat. How does it work? Well, we're all used to hearing about phishing, spelled with a PH instead of an F. And that's the idea that somebody is targeting you online to get you to do something that you normally wouldn't do. It's called social engineering. So you'll get a link to something that looks like your bank account account asking you to reset the password or you'll get a link to a web page that looks exactly like amazon.com but is off by just a little bit and so they ask you to log in and the idea is to be able to capture information from you or try to get you to download malicious code but now what we're finding is that as work from home has become the new normal in the country the uh, cyber criminals are becoming much more adept at pivoting away from just regular phishing to something called vishing or voice phishing what they do is they really look at organizations. I mean, this is not something that they do casually, like phishing is done just as a, at a massive scale. They get somebody's email, they send out a bunch of stuff, but this is much more targeted. They figure out like, for example, oh, this bank is working remotely because they put up on their website, hey, we're sorry if we respond slowly because some of our employees are working from home. So they then do research online on the webpage, on Facebook, on Instagram, capture employee information, then try to get those employees to do something like give them credentials or give them access. So it's not just online anymore. Now it's coming on your phone, on your cell phone. So it's easy for them to spoof caller ID. There's a lot of legitimate services out there that are available for that. So they're using those for illegitimate purposes. So just because you get a phone call that says, hey, this is coming from my office. If it sounds suspicious, hang up Mm -hmm. and call in yourself to make sure that it's legit. Here we are in all these fires in California. People want to help. We get a telephone call from the Firefighters Benevolent Association, some group calling themselves that and asking us to go buy gift cards and load them with money and drop them off at a particular location. You're saying that we have to be really careful about that kind of thing because that could very well be a scam. Might be better to contact organizations that we know that are legit, like the American Red Cross or the Food Bank, and find out how we can help that way. If you get a phone call from somebody purporting to be from some association or, or some neighborhood group that's trying to raise money for the firefighters or rather than giving you a website to log into. They instead ask you to get gift cards or to send them money via PayPal. Be very, very careful about that. Being compassionate is a good thing. But like you said, there's a lot of really good organizations that are well-established that you can contribute to that will help those people just as much. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, our guest here on Power Talk Radio. Online, it's AlvarezTG.com, at AlvarezTG. That is the Twitter handle. And Luis, the toll-free number for the I-Team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-Team. That's 866 Six seven eight four eight three two six.